seven Philly public school principals, and here they are, are being honored for their leadership and contributions to the community. So the district and the Lindbeck Foundation has awarded them for $20,000 for each of their schools, so they're here with us now. So Crystal, you're on my side. Hi. Hi. Uh, what is that award and why were the principals given it? Well, the award is for principals who lead and serve with those principles of equity. And we do that for the benefit of our students, their families and our communities. So that can range from humanitarian efforts, um, decision making, um, it, it, things like that. And in layman terms, what that means is that we are going to do whatever we have to do to make sure our students, families, and communities are safe. Would you all agree with that <laughs> assessment by Crystal? That's, all right, let's, let's meet, meet our, uh, our principals, okay? You are, and school. I am Amanda Jones. I'm the proud change maker principal at the Honorable Munoz Marin Elementary School. All right, and next to you is? Hi, I'm Heather Mall Miller. I'm the proud principal of William Hunter Elementary School. All right, down front here, a proud principal. Yes, good day. My name is Lillian Izzard, the proud principal of Thomas Edison High School. Okay, great school. Good morning. My name is Diana Garcia. I'm the proud principal of the Willard Elementary School. Okay, other side? Our only gentleman of this crew <laughs> represent. Hello, I'm Dr. Alfonso Evans, and I'm the proud principal of the Allen M. Stern Elementary School. Thank you. And Crystal Edwards. Dr. Crystal Edwards, proud principal of W.D. Kelly, serving the 19121. And that's Kelly with two E's, not to be confused with the one in Germantown. Gotcha. With one E. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right. And down in front. Good morning. My name is Dr. Kalia Johnson. I am the proud principal of Overbrook High School, class in 1989. And Overbrook will not be overlooked. Yes, oh, I there love that. Let me ask for a second, because Overbrook specifically, I know that we had some struggles this year. We mm -hmm. had some issues. And that's one of the reasons specifically that you're also being recognized it's how you rise when we have there was a shooting with kids outside of the school nearby yes it was and um, we will not be defined by that mm -hmm. so this is one of those um, celebrations that I have and I'm honored to accept on behalf of Overbrook High School because we are not defined by the violence that happens in our community we are defined by our wonderful students our wonderful parents our wonderful staff and the, all the wonderful things that we have to offer such a great city and a great district let's talk about the award a little bit maybe uh all of you can weigh in on this. It's $20,000 per school? Yes, $20,000 stipend per school. And what do you use it for then? What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to use it to continue the initiative to build communities of belonging mm -hmm. in our school and for all stakeholders. How about you? I'm going to uh, focus on promoting safety and rebuild our playground at Marin. Now, each, you individuals will also get some money, right? I mean, and then they're like, no? No, Mike, that's payday. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's just payday? <laughs> What's this yes. thing about $3,500? That's, that's for teachers. Oh, for teachers. Yeah, they can just spend Not there. the principal. hours in the school. <laughs> oh, and there's going to be a big ceremony on May 23rd, right? For, for the teachers. teachers. For the teachers, and, teachers. Really and they'll get their awards that, that, that night over at the yeah, Film yeah, Society. Right. Really cool. What does it mean to you? To it get means this? A, well. It means a lot to me because um, we are surrounded by violence. We are in a city where that's all we really see mm -hmm. every time we turn on the news. But our students are wonderful. They thrive. Our staff couldn't be more dedicated. Um, it means the world to and our school. We don't talk about it enough on the news. Correct. That's why Correct. we're so happy to be doing this today. I think for me, what made this even more special is that the nomination came from my staff. Mm -hmm. So the acknowledgement came from in-house first. Yeah. So we're going to use this to build a playground for our students because where Willard is located, there are no safe spaces for them to play. So yeah. we're going to have a playground for them. Okay. And I have kids that are in elementary, middle, and high school. You have an elementary school we've had just a lot of trauma I can't imagine for our kids with all of this violence that's going on what are you gonna do with the money and how do you try to keep the kids where they just feel good about where they are in their life well at Stern School we want to continue to create environments where children are celebrated and not tolerated mm -hmm. and we're going to build a media center um, for them to uh, be creative in their um, in their rapping and their vocal ability also some of them want to be future journalists and so we'll have the opportunity to share uh, the good news uh, throughout the school and community with that we'll get Mike and Alex and the whole gang if Absolutely. I see myself we'll come we, on we over we'll check it out yes. we'll bring that joy as well and how about you Crystal what are you gonna do 
Well, in the age of CRT and rewriting history to make it comfortable for others, um, I'm going to make sure that our library is totally redone and that the children see themselves in the books that um, are uh, there for them in our libraries and that come, um, our parents are will be able mm. to come in and be able to do job searches, research, you know, continue their own education. So we look forward to that. Representation matters in the education of children. Absolutely. Principles matter. Uh, Teachers absolutely. matter. Absolutely. Our educators sure. matter. Congratulations. Yes, absolutely. Awesome. Thank you all so much. Oh.